Hello, everyone. My name is Paloma. I'm from Brazil. I am part of the NASA Space Apps COVID Challenge in Brazil, uh, but I have been part of the NASA Space Apps community for a while now. In 2017, uh, together with a few underprivileged kids uh, from a neighborhood close to my city, uh, where I have my nonprofit work, uh, we were able to join NASA Space Apps Challenge 2017 and win first place in my location, which is Curitiba, Brazil, and be part of the top five best projects in the best mission concept. I'm also the director of Founder Institute Brazil, which is uh, the largest startup accelerator worldwide, uh, and in Brazil, uh, the largest accelerator in Latin America. Uh, as I told you, I have a nonprofit called We Are All Smart. Uh, we help underprivileged kids from 12 years and up to learn about Arduino, coding, uh, so they can build solutions for their own communities. I'm a Young Leader of America 2019 by the U.S. Embassy, and I'm also a Jovian from Jupiter, which is this planet we're going to talk about it in a bit. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Juno Radio, which is the case uh, that I uh, was part of NASA Space Apps in 2017. And we're going to talk about five tips to win with the perfect pitch. To start, I want to talk about the challenge we picked in the 20, 20, uh, 2017. In 2017, we decided to select the challenge, uh, build a fire monitoring and crowdsourcing tool uh, that will allow uh, local fire managers to respond to wildfires. It was really cool at the time because I wanted to learn how to build drones. So I had bought all the assembling parts before going into the hackathon. Uh, we got there, we were all ready to start. Uh, little did we know that drones are not the best way to fight fires. So during the hackathon, we were working as a team, uh, trying to build a solution that actually made sense for this problem. And it was through that problem that we found firms which is the fire information for resources management system uh, that NASA has that already get, give almost in real time information about fire spots going on in the, in the whole world. Uh, so we developed Juno Radio, which costs less than $20. It's done with Arduino pieces uh, and it's able to help anyone anywhere in the globe uh, to have access to the satellite data without access to internet using AM frequencies. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I did the pitch live uh, and I, we, I was part of the construction of this pro uh, project. And part of the reason why our pitch was so successful and part of the reason why your pitch is gonna be so successful is because you build a solution that actually solves a problem and because you create a solution that it's able to be articulated even with simple words sometimes in the technology space we love to use jargons we say blockchain we say artificial intelligence we use the word of the day uh cryptos but sometimes it's the simple and easy things that solve the problems and they're easily understand and transmitted. So this is a $20 solution to a real problem that can be simulated through a weekend that actually helps uh, to deliver that messages of uh, a fire spot in the middle of the jungle to a firefight that really needs that coordinates. So let's just jump right into it. What are my tips for a successful pitch? Number one, in the beginning of the hackathon, in the beginning of the competition, decide who is the responsible to pitch. A lot of uh, teams leave that to the last minute. On the last day, you decide, and then there's a little fight about who is the one that's pitching. Some teams even decide to have more than one because you can't decide. It's really important to come up with that decision as soon as possible and to get that person working and getting ready. Why is that? Because you can build the best solution ever. If you cannot articulate that information, you're losing. So it's really important to have a person in the team that has that ability to communicate and that has the responsibility 
to communicate for the whole team, uh, that's your job. And the job of that person is making you win. So it doesn't matter uh, what's going on. The fastest you make that decision, the fastest that person can get ready and prepare. Tip number two, have a solution that really solves the problem. We already talked about that in Juno Radio. So even though you really want to build drones like I did, uh, make sure that the solution you're building really solves the problem you chose. Uh, and that you have mentors to help you identify better and to help communicate better. And then the work of the person that's doing the pitch is to connect the dots. So the message of the problem has to be really connected to the solution you're proposing. And it needs to be clear to me, how are you solving this problem? And why is your solution the best way to solve that problem? Uh, so if the problem is delivering the coordinates to firefighters in the middle of the jungle about a fire starting, so they can better have chances of stopping that fire. And the problem is that there's no internet there. The perfect solution is to use infrastructure that is already ready, which is radio, AM, waves that get anywhere pretty much. Uh, and how do we do that in a cheaper, faster, better way? And communicating that dots are really important. Every time you present a problem, your solution has to con convert to that problem. So make sure that when you're presenting your solution, you have this to really define. Tip number three, if it's possible, demo your product. This is a virtual hackathon, so this is even easier. Usually, when it's live, it's way harder because things can go really wrong. So if you're presenting live to someone, uh, it's important to record that demo before because we know that if there's possibility, it might happen. So if you're demoing a product, make sure you have that recording in case the demo life fail. If you're already doing a recording, uh, make sure the recording looks awesome and that you can really show how to demo your product. And that doesn't mean you need to have a super finished perfect demo. Uh, in our case, we literally built our demo in card box and we made it work with real data from NASA live in the hackathon. So during one weekend, you're going to prototype and it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to work and it needs to solve the problem of showing the judges how it works. So you have to have in mind that you're looking at that with no background, you might not even know the technology you're using. How do you show a person that doesn't know what you're doing that this product really works? What questions are gonna come up in her mind that during the demo you can talk over? Uh, a lot of things that people will question will be like, oh, but what if I don't have uh, electricity? Uh, so you can already during your demo say, oh, this can also be plugged to a power source from a solar, a solar power. Even though your demo doesn't have that right now, you're already taking these concerns into consideration while you're walking the person through the demo. Tip number four, less sometimes is more. Sometimes you spend 48 hours doing a lot of things. We're really excited. We're in the hackathon. I love participating in hackathons. Uh, but I was also already a judge of a hackathon a few times. And it's really hard when someone is trying to just shove information down your throat because you don't have time to process. So sometimes you're not going to be able to tell the whole story of how you come up with that, with that solution or all the ideas about all these problems that this solution could solve. So just make sure that you're being clear, that you're calm and confident when you're presenting. And you don't need to just fill in and talk fast and try to pass as much information as you, need, as you can. The idea is to pass the information that you are able to absorb in that few minutes that the judge is gonna have. So don't fill it up with information, make sure to have critical information in your pitch. Last tip, practice, practice, practice. That's why you need to have the responsible for the pitch ready to go as soon as possible. 
Uh, you can use templates uh, for the design. It's not, it's not much about the design of things, but it's important to also present something nice. But as soon as you can, start doing your script and start practicing. You have to have and show preparation uh, so you know what you're talking about, so you're, not com so you're confident enough to pass that uh, security to the judges that you know what you're talking about. Even if you're not the tech person, even if you're not the person developing the tools or the solutions, you need to know how that works to be able to present it well. For that, I have a tip for you guys. Uh, at Founder Institute, we have one of our companies from our portfolio that's actually helping a lot in the hackathon here in Brazil. It's called Panic Lobster. Uh, they have a tool online for free that you can go and you can keep recording yourself in your pitch. I do that every other week or every week to train my my pitches for investors when I do one or to train my pitch to customers when I do one. It's important for us to practice and articulate. That's how you are going to master that. So record yourself, show it to mentors, record yourself in front of other people, in front of the computer as much as you can and learn like sports. Replay, see what your, are your weakness and work to fix them. Your job as pitching is really important because the key to winning a hackathon is in the pitch. And if you're really serious about building a startup after that, if you wanna continue with your team or by yourself, building this product and taking it to the market and making it a really company, Jupiter and Founder Institute in Brazil have a special invite for you, which is you can go at fi.co slash joint slash space apps. Uh, and we have a few fellowships from our acceleration program in Brazil and we have one fellowship in, some, in, in Silicon Valley, in our program in Silicon Valley, that has access directly to NASA. Founder Institute is the first acceleration program that has a cohort, an acceleration program for space entrepreneurs. So don't miss this opportunity. If you wanna know more about opportunities to join Founder Institute NASA uh, acceleration program, you can email me, you can follow me on Instagram, Paloma Lecheta. Let me know how we can help you. We need more and more space tech entrepreneurs joining this mission. And we're really excited that you joined this hackathon with NASA Space Apps COVID-19. Uh, I can't wait to hear back from you guys. Peace, take care, cheers from Brazil.